Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter three, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Um, so I know that these are super hard to understand for some people, but I'm gonna do the best I can to explain them, okay? So you'll notice that each one of these big blocks is cut up into 100, okay? It's 10 by 10, which makes it 100 blocks, okay? So that means that it's less than one because it's in the 100, okay? So as, um, until that whole block is filled in, every bit of it, that means that we're going to have a decimal beforehand, okay? So the first number is going to be how many of the whole rows here are filled in completely. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are filled in completely. That's your first number, okay? Your second number is going to be how many of these are filled in before we get to the one that's up here, okay? That's magnified up here, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, okay? Your last number is going to be how many of these guys are filled in, and in this case, it's just the one. So 0 0.971. It only gives us one of those to practice on. I'm sorry, that's what I got, guys, okay? So, I hope that that explains it a little bit better. I'm going to zoom out now so you guys don't aren't quite so close. I'm hoping that explains it a little bit better for you and um, be able to do that. Okay. All right, guys. So, on three, it's saying that four is 10 times as much as, okay, which means it is bigger than the number that it is talking about. Okay. That, that this is, okay? That 0.4 is bigger than this number is. Now, it's 10 times that much, which means that all we have to do is take that decimal and move it over here. So 0 0.04, okay? Now, this one, it's saying that this number is going to be bigger, okay? Because we divided to get this number, so now it wants us to do the opposite, okay? So it's saying that point, sorry, that three thousandth is one tenth of so it's one time so we're going to move that decimal one time one zero one time okay so now we're going to have point zero three okay so when it's talking about ten times as much as then your decimal is going to get smaller when it's talking about one tenth of your decimal is going to get bigger Okay, so first, I'm going to do this because we're going to do this one in this color and we're going to do this one in this color because I'm going to move our decimals, okay? All right, so 10 times as much as, that means our decimal is going to get smaller. So then we're going to have 0.01. This one is going to get bigger, so we're going to have 1, okay? This one is going to get smaller going to be 0 0.009 and this one is going to get bigger so it's going to be 0 0.9 okay hopefully y'all are keeping up with me here okay smaller 0 0.004 bigger 0 0.4 smaller Point zero, oh, I did the wrong color. Sorry about that, guys. Point zero six, bigger six. Okay? Same thing right here. You guys do this one, okay? Use this as an example, okay? And if you need to use colored pencils to do this part like I just did, go for it. No shame in your game, guys, okay? All right. The diameter of a dime is 700. Uh, 705 thousandths of an inch. Complete the table by recording the diameter of a dime. So, 705, and if we put the decimal right there, then the five is in a thousandth place. Okay? So, what is the value of the five in the diameter of a half dollar? Well, here's our half dollar, and that five is in the thousandth place. So it's going to be five 
thousand. Darn it, I always miss that D right there because you still have to put thousand and then THF. Okay, so five thousand. Which coins have a diameter with a five in the hundredth place? So right there, right there, and just those two. So you're going to have a penny and a quarter. Okay, so you guys are going to do the lesson check. You totally can. I believe in you. I'm going to scroll out a little bit more again. In fact, I'm going to turn that page back just for a second so that you guys have a chance to pause it and see where I underlined right there and right there for number 15. Okay? In the tenth place. It's the second place after the decimal. Okay? I'm sorry, the hundredth place, not the tenth. The hundredth place. Second place after the decimal. Okay, that means that 0.75, that's in the tenth, or in the hundredth, sorry, and 0.955, the five is in the hundredth. Okay, go ahead and write those down, pause it, do whatever you need to do, then do lesson check, then we're going to go ahead and do star review together. Okay, what is the number 731,934,000? written in standard form. Well, first I'm going to point out that here are our commas, and that's where our commas are going to go here. So we know we're going to have two commas, okay? So before the first comma, it's 731 million, 731, okay? After the second one, 934,000 and 30. Well, I still need a number there. I'm going to fill in a placeholder zero. Okay, that's it, guys. All right, a city has a population of 743,182 people. What is the value of the digit three? Seven, four, three, one, eight, two. And it wants the value of the three. That's perfect because all we have to do is drop down the three and everything after it becomes a zero. Okay? Write an expression that matches the words three times the sum of eight and four. Well, three times the sum, that means adding. The sum is when you add eight and four. Easy peasy, guys. Okay? A family of two adults and three children goes to, play, to a play. Admission costs $8 per adult and $5 per child. Okay? So that's two times the eight. So it's two adults. Eight dollars. Okay. Okay. Three children, five dollars each. We'll write an expression to show the admission of the cost for the family. So you're going to have two times eight plus three times five. There's your expression. All done, guys. Okay, and uh, we do need to make sure that we put in the dollar sign. Okay, all right, good job, guys. That was 3.1. Come on back for 3.2.